Hello there, this is Murray Gans from the Scanning Electron Microscope Lab here at Eastfield College. Um, out in front of the C building, which you can see right behind me here, classes are changing, students are walking up and down the sidewalks, cars going by, uh, and they're all ignoring one of my favorite fall wildflowers, which is called the late blooming aster. If you look carefully, hopefully it'll show up in this video, it's all through this area right here, these tiny, tiny little purpley white flowers. But anyway, we'll collect some of these, take them back up to the lab, I'll take some pictures and see what they look like under the scopes. Let's begin with some photos I took of the area. This is the C building here in the background. Matter of fact, right there, that poster in the window, that's my office. Uh, you can see uh, some of the wildflowers down here. Okay, here's a closer look at some of them. Little patches of wildflowers. You might not even see these if you didn't pay attention. And, and finally, we get to see what they really look like. They're, they're mainly white with a little bit of purple uh, behind them. Uh, really very, very pretty. And what we've got here is, is called a composite flower. So now, I took one of these back to the lab and stuck it in a little, a little bottle of water and put it under the dissecting scope. And what you can see is that this is not actually a single flower, a simple flower. This is actually a, uh, a composite flower. It's composed of, of a bunch of flowers together. Uh, the flowers in the middle are called disc flowers, and the flowers on the edge are called ray flowers. And what's interesting about the ray flowers is they only produce one petal each. Uh, the ones in the disc don't produce any petals at all. Uh, and in this area right here in the center, you can see that some of these uh, disc flowers haven't even opened up yet. Let's zoom in a little bit, and the uh, first thing that becomes apparent is you've got pollen everywhere all over these flowers. I mean, there's just tons of it. Uh, here's a close-up uh, view of, of uh, some of the flowers in the center that haven't opened yet, and all this is pollen. All these guys on here, these, these guys are all pollen grains. So now we go to the scanning electron microscope and uh, to see this and uh, get a really clear view of of all this you see they zoom in a little bit more and even more and that's a piece of, of uh, just dirt right there but you can start to even start to see some structure in pollen alright so I also went back out because uh, I wanted to get a flower that was completely opened and so this is a, a flower and what I want to show you in this image specifically is where that red arrow is that is a stigma that's the female part of the flower this happens to be a stigma on a on a ray flower and that's a typical shape that you'd expect to see so here's an electron micrograph of the same flower, and there's the same stigma right there. And all these actually are stigmas. The next thing I did was take one of these flowers apart and to see the two different types of flowers. So you've got the disc flowers, which don't have the petals, and these ray flowers, each of which has, has a single petal. So here's a close-up of a, of a ray flower. You can see that single petal out there. Uh, the stigma with some pollen on it, even some pollen grains stuck down here. Here's the ovule, which will develop into the seed. And then these little structures here are called pappy. This aster actually disperses its seeds the same way that a dandelion does with a little parachute. And these pappy make up the parachute. And we'll see those in more detail in just a second. One thing that bothered me about the disc flower is I could see the stigma, but I couldn't see the, the, uh, the stamen, uh, the male part of the flower. So you can see in this picture, I've actually started to dissect the flower with a, with a needle. And here's a closer view. And as I got that, as I got that flower open, you notice that, that I could really begin to see all this pollen lined up inside of here. Uh, pull it open even more, and there's the anther inside. Uh, so this is the entire stamen. This is the anther, and this is the filament. And all those are little pollen grains. Here's what it looks like with the scanning electron microscope. Uh, again, very clear picture. And here, here's a papus, if you will, singular. Uh, one of those little things that's going to make the parachute for the seed. Uh, scan down a little bit farther, and there are the filaments. And again, the pappy, which will actually make the parachute for the for the flower. I uh, got a good uh, good image of the of the pollen grains. Here's the pollen grains at 750x, and here's the pollen grain at 1,000x. Uh, pretty spiky guys here, and uh, just want to show you now that I actually was able to do a measurement on this. Uh, we have a scale on the bottom of each of these uh, micrographs. The distance from right here to right there is actually 50 microns, so that distance right there to there is 5 microns. And so if you apply that scale to this pollen grain, you can see this pollen grain is actually 25 microns long. And a micron is a millionth of a meter, so these guys are, are pretty small. Another pretty cool picture with this with the light dissecting microscope, here's your stigma, and you can even see some pollen grains that are stuck on it here. And then uh, back to the electron microscope, there's the stigma with pollen on it. And uh, it's got all these little fingery structures on it. And here's a close-up of that with pollen all of this. This plant had no trouble getting pollinated whatsoever. There are tons and tons of pollen. Uh, the last look here is going to be at petals. 
uh, the pedals almost always have very strange cellular structure. So here's a close-up of a pedal. This is at uh, 190x, and you can see the individual cells that make up the top layer of the pedal, and again the the pollen, which are just everywhere. The next picture, just because I thought it was cool, as you, as you, I was taking these uh, electron micrographs, the specimens started to dry out, and the petal curled up, and I just thought it was kind of a, a pretty a pretty image to to see. The last picture I want to show you is actually from the side. Um, these are again those pappy so you can see them pretty clearly that will make the little parachute which will help disperse the seed. It's me again. I, before I leave I just wanted to uh, point out something kind of weird and I guess it, it comes with being at a college. Uh, I'm standing out here talking to a tiny pink video camera on a tripod in the big middle of nowhere and people are walking by me. Actually hundreds of people have walked by me in the last 30 minutes or so and uh, no one's paying me the least bit of attention.